Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all we are well. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about fade forward control system. Fade forward control system is used in the process control system for improving the performance of the control system. There are so many control techniques like ratio control system, cascade control system, fade forward control system, adaptive control system, and so on. In this tutorial, I will discuss what is fade forward control system different features of fit forward control system, how fit forward control system functions, different applications of fit forward control system, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages to use the fit forward control system. So entering into the discussion, please subscribe, it will help me to improve the channel. Fit forward control is a control technique that anticipates load disturbances and control them before they can impact on the process variable. So the main parameter which is considered for fit forward control is the load disturbances. It measures load disturbances. It is having the mathematical model. Using the load disturbances and set point, it will calculate or anticipate what should be the output of the process and as per that it will produce a particular signal which ultimately controls manipulated variable to maintain the controlled variable as per the set point. Basic concept of fit forward control system is to measure important disturbance variables and take corrective actions before they can upset the process. Fit forward control system measures the different load variables. Before entering the effect of that load variables into the process, it is measured and corrective action has been taken before disturbing the process variable. If we use the fit forward control system along with others, then performance of the control system can be enhanced greatly by applying the fit forward control system. Fit forward control system is a strategy to reject persistent disturbances that cannot adequately be rejected with the help of only feedback control system. While we use the feedback control system, at that time, whatever different load variables are there which normally affects the control system that cannot be eliminated means the effect of those load variables cannot be eliminated by using only the feedback control system. Fit forward control system is a form of open loop system as in this case there is no feedback signal. All the signals in the case of fit forward control system will flow in forward direction always. Fit forward control system is sometimes called as predictive control system as it has to predict the control variable instead of measuring it. In this fit forward control system, the control variable is not measured. There is a fit forward mathematical model which is related with facets or characteristics of the process and the model ultimately predicts with respect to different load variables what should be the output or how, what might be the output due to the presence of that load variable that is predicted or anticipated by the fit forward model. Fit forward control systems are not like the conventional controllers like P, P, I, P, I, D. This is a special purpose computing machine. This fit forward control system must have a mathematical model or a special purpose computing system in which the mathematical model of the process is implemented. That mathematical model completely depends on the process features or process characteristics. In practical use, fit forward control system never be used alone. Rather, it is used in combination with feedback or closed loop control system. This is a very simple block diagram for explaining the fit forward control system. This is a process and is the control variable which is to be controlled at a set point. There might have different loads. These are different loads. For the case of fit forward control system, the load should be measured before entering it into the process. So this is D1, D2, D3 are different signals with respect to different loads. So these signals are the input of fit forward mathematical model. This fit forward mathematical model is produced with respect to the process characteristics. So input of this fit forward mathematical model are different load variables. Fit forward mathematical model will anticipate what might be the output due to the presence of these different load or disturbances. And this fit forward mathematical model will produce a particular output Output of this mathematical model ultimately controls the control variable by changing the manipulated variable. 
So what is happening in this case? If there is any load or disturbances which might hamper the control system means which might change value of the control variable that load variables are measured and those signals are the input of this fit forward mathematical model. It will produce a particular signal to manipulate the manipulated variable so that ultimately there will be no change of the control variable. Means before hampering the process due to the presence of load or disturbances, the load or disturbances are measured and corrective action has been taken by this fit forward mathematical model. This similar another block diagram very simple the disturbances is measured it is the input of the fit forward model or fit forward controller according to these disturbances and set point it will produce a particular signal that will ultimately manipulate the manipulated variable which ultimately maintain the value of the control variable at a particular desired level this is the block diagram of fit forward control system this loop is the feedback loop this set point gain of the controller this is the measuring signal gain of the measuring instrument the error signal is input of the controller according to this controller will produce a particular signal which is the input of this control valve ultimately control valve changes the process so this is the process gain this whole loop is feedback control system now disturbances might enter into the process which may hamper the control system so before entering the disturbances the disturbances is measured and which is the input of the fit forward controller or fit forward model this produces a particular signal with respect to this two signal the control valve will be operated ultimately the output of the process that is the control variable will remain at a constant value this is one of the example of fit forward control system here this is the main process reboiler heater say water is entering this is the cold water through this pipe this is outlet of hot water temperature of water inside this reboiler heater is controlled by using this fuel for that case temperature at the outlet of this pipe is measured this is the input of this controller no doubt there is a set point at which temperature is to be maintained controller will give a output and which will ultimately operate the control valve to maintain the fuel now everything will be perfect means to control at a particular temperature opening of the control valve will be at a particular position and if the flow of the water inlet is constant no doubt the control system will be at a stable condition means it will be controlled with a particular temperature now if there is any load change or any disturbances may enter into the process then no doubt process will be hampered means the temperature at the outlet will not be maintained at the desired value i am considering here a load change say inlet flow is varying for better understanding i am considering if inlet flow is reduced then when the water flow is reducing at that time if the fuel flow is constant as the previous flow then no doubt the temperature at the outlet will be higher than the previous one means for a particular temperature the fuel flow was a particular value when the inlet flow is reduced if the fuel flow remain same as the previous value no doubt temperature at the outlet will be higher means the control system is hampered why this is hampered because of the load or disturbances which one is the disturbances here the disturbances is flow of water now for proper operation of the control system or better performances we may introduce the fit forward control system with this feedback control system which one is the feedback control system this one is the feedback control system is this controller here the measuring signal measuring instrument controller this control valve this is the feedback control system now if the fit forward control system is added with this one no doubt the performance will be better now how the fit forward control system is added before entering that i am explaining what are the different reasons for decreasing the flow say so this is the tower fluid is entering into the vessel for maintaining the level of this tower a level controller is there now somehow if the inlet flow of this tower is reduced no doubt the controller will try to close the valve to maintain the level here when this controller is closing the control valve inlet flow of this reboiler will be reduced so this is the disturbances or load change 
For eliminating the effects of this load change, feed forward control system might be introduced. How feed forward control system is introduced? The flow is measured by a flow transmitter here. This flow transmitter signal is input of feed forward model. Here this is the feed forward model. This feed forward model is prepared with respect to process parameters. Feed forward model will produce a particular signal with respect to this controller output as well as this flow transmitter output and ultimately it will control the control valve so that the temperature at the output will remain at constant. For example, say when inlet flow is reducing, flow transmitter output will be reduced that will be input of this feed forward model. So ultimately it will produce a particular signal which will reduce inlet flow of the fuel and ultimately though the flow inside the water has been reduced but because of reducing value of the fuel the temperature will be maintained at the desired value. It will not be increased. By introducing the feed forward control system here the performance of the control system has been improved. So this is one example of heat forward control system for the case of fired heater. This is another example of heat forward control system here. Steady state model has been introduced along with the energy balanced phenomena. The same heat exchanger system has been taken as an example here. This is that heat exchanger system. This is cold liquid in and this is hot liquid out. How the temperature is increasing? Temperature is increasing by using the steam flow through this heat exchanger system. Say the inlet temperature is T1 and required outlet temperature of liquid is T2. So the temperature change should be T2 minus T1. If the flow of inlet liquid is W, then W into Cp into T2 minus T1 will be required heat energy for increasing the liquid temperature from T1 to T2. From where this energy will come? This heat energy will come from steam. Now if we consider required amount of steam is Ws for increasing the temperature of liquid from T1 to T2, then the amount of heat released should be lambda into Ws. What is lambda? Lambda is the latent heat. In this case, the steam of 100 degree centigrade will be condensed to water of 100 degree centigrade. So there will be no change of temperature for the case of steam while it will condense, but there will be change of state. While there is a change of state only, at that time the latent heat will be released or gained. In this case, steam is condensed, so latent heat will be released. Here lambda is the latent heat per unit mass. So if Ws is the total amount of steam flow required to increase the temperature of liquid from T1 to T2, then lambda into Ws is the required amount of heat which will be released by the steam and the same amount of heat will be gained by the water from the steam. As we are considering there will be no heat lost and also considering heat energy conservation means whatever the heat is released by the steam, same amount of heat will be gained from the steam by liquid. So the energy balanced equation for this case is W into Cp into T2 minus T1 is equal to lambda into Ws. So from this equation, what will be the value of required amount of steam? Value of required amount of steam Ws is equal to from the above equation, it will be W into Cp by lambda into T2 minus T1. So this Ws will be the required amount of steam, required quantity of steam for increasing the temperature of liquid from T1 to T2. Now this is the equation that should be incorporated into the mathematical model of fit forward control system. How this may be used? First of all, T1 is the inlet temperature that is measured by temperature transmitter. So this is value of T1. T2 is the set point which is the required temperature. So T2 is given here as the set point and this is the modifier. Here in this case, this is just a subtractor. 
uh, it will subtract these two values so ultimately at the output of this t y will be t 2 minus t 1. Now here t 2 minus t 1 will be multiplied by two parameters one is cp by lambda and other one is w. What is w? w is flow of liquid. So that flow of liquid is measured by this flow transmitter and this orifice arrangement. So ultimately here this is the signal w. That w should be multiplied with this t2 minus t1. So this flow modifier will act as a multiplier. So here t2 minus t1 and w will be multiplied. Another term is there cp by lambda. cp by lambda which is a constant and that constant is k say. So that k will be multiplied with other two parameters. So in this case the function of this modifier is to multiply k, w and t2 minus t1 w into cp by lambda into t2 minus t1 which is no doubt equals to ws. So this ws is the set point of this flow controller. This is the function of the mathematical model. In real case there might need to include other parameters also for designing the mathematical model. So in this case this is the required steam flow. So for controlling the required steam flow this flow transmitter measures the flow of the steam as per the set point, if there is any error, it will produce a particular signal which will control this control valve to maintain the steam flow at a value of Ws. Here this system, from this to this system, this is the feedback system. The rest part is fit forward control system. Here this acts as a fit forward model. The signal is fed in forward direction to ultimately control the control valve. So this is the operation how fit forward control system might be introduced or might work with the steady state model and considering the energy balanced phenomena. So now what are the different advantages of fit forward control system? Fit forward control system no doubt better because before entering the disturbances and hampering the process it takes the corrective action and ultimately maintains control system perfectly. If we introduce the fit forward control system with the feedback control system or cascade control system then it has been found that the stability will not be changed. Means if the system was previously stable after introducing the fit forward control system again the system became stable. The fit forward control system can be introduced and it works well for multi capacity system and the system which is having high dead time in that system also fit forward control system works perfectly. What are the different disadvantages of heat flow control system? For the case of heat flow control system, all the disturbances should be measured perfectly. But in real case, all the loads or all the disturbances can never be measured perfectly. So this is one drawback for the case of heat flow control system. For the case of heat flow control system, perfect mathematical design should be required. If the mathematical model is not perfectly matched with the characteristics of the process, no doubt it creates some negative effect on the control system. As fit forward control system needs extra equipment or extra instruments, so it is a little bit expensive. Fit forward control system needs perfect measure of different load variables as well as perfect designing of mathematical model. For the case of mathematical model design, if it is not designed perfectly or if there is any inaccurate measurement of different load variables, no doubt the system will create some error. These are the different disadvantages of fit forward control system. Now I am concluding discussion on fit forward control system. We have discussed what is fit forward control system, what are the different features. We have discussed different applications in real process, how fit forward control system is designed what is fit forward model, how fit forward control system works, what are different advantages and disadvantages of fit forward control system. Please click on subscribe button, put comments and queries in comment section.